After learning how to calculate perimeter of any given rectangle, let's learn how to calculate perimeter of any given regular shape. So the first question is, what is a regular shape? To explain this point, the regular shape, I have drawn some diagrams here. This is a square. This is an equilateral triangle, a pentagon, a hexagon, a heptagon, and an octagon. Now, what is a regular shape? If in a given diagram or for any given shape, if all the sides of the, that particular figure or diagram or the shape is are equal, if all the sides are equal and the angles, that is if this side is equal to this side, is equal to this side, is equal to this side, Right? All the given sides are equal and the angle between all the two adjacent sides are equal. That is this angle is equal to this angle, this angle is equal to this angle and this angle is equal to this angle. That is all the angles are equal, all the sides are equal. Any uh, such shape or diagram is called a regular shape. I am explaining again telling again that if all the sides are equal and all the angles are equal then it's a regular shape so we know that in a square all the sides are equal you know we have learned that so in any square the all the sides are equal and we know that all the angles are how much 90 degree each angle is 90 degree is at right angle all the angles are at right angle Therefore, a square is a regular shape. Now, what would be its perimeter of a square? What would be its perimeter? So we know that for calculating perimeter, we, we have to just, we just have to add all the sides, right? So if this is A vertex, it's B vertex, it's C vertex, it's D vertex, in order to calculate the perimeter, this will be this side that is AB plus BC plus CD plus DA, right? These are the sides. This is representing line segment. So these, the addition of all the sides will be equal to the perimeter. Now, since all the sides are equal and let's suppose that AB is equal to a any arbitrary number so if this is a then all this will also be a let's say this is a meter this is this will also be a meter this will also be a meter and this will also be a meter so this will be a plus a plus a plus a where a is the length of each side this will give you what this will give you 4 a that is 4 times a 4 times A. A is any given side. That means in order to calculate the perimeter of a square, what you have to do is just 4 times the length, the length of length of a side. Right? So 4 times length of a side will be the perimeter of a square okay now this is an equilateral triangle we have learned that in an in a given equilateral triangle all the sides are equal we know that and all the angles are equal and all the angles are at 60 degree 60 degree 60 degree if you don't know how it it is 60 degree then don't worry all these things you will learn when you move to your higher standard or higher grade so right now just uh, know that an equilateral triangle is a triangle which has all the sides equal and all the angles are equal and each angle is equal to 60 degrees now if this is these are the vertices of this triangle and if i have to calculate the perimeter we know that what's a perimeter 
So perimeter, if I am denoting perimeter by P, P will be what? AB plus BC plus CA. And this will be equal to what? If this is A meter, and this is A meter, and this is A meter, then this will be A plus A plus A, where A is the length of any given side. So this will be 3 times A. That is, to calculate the perimeter of an equilateral triangle, this should be 3 times length of a given side of a side. Why is 3 times the length of a side? Because all the lengths are equal, each side is, a, is a equal, therefore this will be 3 times once the length of one side. In this case, it was four times the length of a side. Why? Because all the four sides are equal. Therefore, just we saw here, if this is a regular pentagon, if this is a regular pentagon, if this is a regular pentagon, pentagon means it has five sides, one, two, three, four, and five. It's, if it is given to you that it is a regular pentagon, then by the, this term regular, it means that all the sides will be equal and all the angles will be equal to each other. Okay, so if this, if these are the vertices A, B, C, D and E, so by what we have discussed here and what we have discussed here, can we say that the perimeter and if we suppose that the length of, if, of this one side is suppose a meter, then all will be a, right? A meter, a meter, and a meter. So if I have to calculate the perimeter, and if I am denoting perimeter by p, then this will be equal to what? Five times a, right? Why? Because each side, all the sides are equal, and each side is of length a meter, and since it's a regular pentagon, therefore five times a. One, two, three, four, and five. This is 5 times A for a regular pentagon. This is a regular hexagon. Hexam, if in this case it was pent means 5, hex means 6. So if these are the vertices, that is A, B, C, D, E, and F. These sides are equal in a regular pen hexagon and all the angles are equal. I'm not going to discuss about the measure of each angle. Just leave it for your high standards. If it is given to you that it is a regular hexagon, then instantly think that all the sides are equal and all the angles are equal. And therefore, if we are denoting perimeter by P, then P will be what? How many sides do we have? We have six sides. And if I assume, if I suppose that one side is of length a meter, then this will be 6 times a, right? Because this is a hexagon. This is a regular heptagon. Hepta means 7. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. A, B, C, D. E, F, and G. Since it is a regular heptagon, all the sides are equal. All the angles are equal. And if let's suppose that each side is a meter, then if I'm denoting my perimeter by P, then what will be the perimeter of a given regular, regular heptagon, 7 sides, so 7 times A, right? A is the length of any given side. This is a regular octagon, A, B, C, D, E, F, G and H are the vertices. It is a regular octagon, octa means 8 sides, this side is equal to 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 this side and is equal to this side that is all the sides are equal. 
all the angles are equal. I'm not going to tell you the value of each angle. Regular octagon, if I'm denoting my perimeter by P, what will be the perimeter? How many sides? Eight sides times, if I suppose that the length of any given one side is A meter, then all the sides will be A meter, therefore this will be 8 times A. So this is about perimeter of a regular shape.